All right, hello everybody. So it is August 25th and it's time for another book haul slash unhaul. It feels like a smaller unhaul this time, but I think like just all the books are so tiny that it just looks smaller than it was last time. Um, it did take me longer to get the book haul. Okay, cause it's been like 20 days. Uh, that's not very long, um, but it'll keep getting longer cause of my whole new system. I think I've explained it, but First up, the unhaul. First up, I got Noragami Volume 7. I do love this series. I think I've got a, an, uh, another one, but I don't need to keep it around. Um, like I said, I think I've got number eight in my haul portion. I don't need to keep it around. Um, so I do have this one. I've got the new Well-Tempered Sentence by Karen Elizabeth Gordon, grammar book. I've got the Humanist in the Bathtub by Mary McCarthy, which was actually vaguely interesting. It was pretty, there were some really interesting essays in there, but overall, you know, not like super intense literary criticism that I want to keep around for the ages. Um, DramaCon number one by Svetlana Tremakova. This is fun series so far. I mean, I, I read numbers one and three. Um, I have number two, I just haven't read it yet. Um, but it's fun, very early 2000s. I don't really need it that much. Uh, what is this called? Peacemaker Kurogane, number three by Kune Chrono. Um, this is one I definitely should have read in order, but also apparently there's an anime that goes before this that I never watched, so I was confused, but I did like some of the characters. Where's the one I liked? Oh, it was this guy. I'm sure he's gonna die of tuberculosis, so that's fun. Uh, the Last Vampire 4 by Christopher Pike. Interesting. Again, I hadn't read the rest of the series, but it's Christopher Pike, so I read it out of order. I read things out of order sometimes. It's no big deal. Uh, One Punch Man, Volume 7. Same thing. Love the series. Don't need it. Uh, Not Quite Dead Enough by Rex Stout. Um, Nero Wolf Story. Not too bad. I enjoyed it. Uh, Bleach, 37. I'm, I keep most of my bleaches, but I had this one already. So I got this one in a lot, and I already have this volume. I did reread it, but I do not need to keep two volumes of this one, even though it has my man Yumichika on the front. So, uh, September Girls by Bennett Madison. This is one that I really enjoyed, um, and I kept held onto it for a while. But now, at this point, I've got so many books, and I really need to be really, really, really uh, harsh about what I keep around, what I get rid of. Kitty in the Midnight Hour by Carrie Vaughn feels like it needs no explaining. How to Catch a Killer by Katherine Ramslin, PhD. I think I'm gonna get rid of the cult one too. Um, these are interesting. They're just little looks, little flicks into uh, a, um, a serial killer. And I know, I mean, you could be thinking like, wow, if you <clears throat> bought this book June 18th, read it July 5th and are getting rid of it on August 25th, why don't you go to a fucking library? And that's a great question. Uh, then, We've got No Wonderland by Christina Lindsay, which was weird. Uh, Slumber Party by Christopher Pike, which was your typical Christopher Pike. Uh, How I Live Now by Meg Rozoff, which was weird. Interesting writing style. Um, two weenies books, uh, In the Land of the Lawn Weenies and Wife Out of the Wireless Weenies. This one I really thought about because this one had such like um, childhood connotations for me, but now I know the book exists. And also this one sucked. And if I felt if I felt the need to keep this one and I wanted this one, then I would have to keep this one. So it's a series thing. Uh, 145th Street by Walter Dean Myers. Good. Don't need it. Uh, one Slimy Summer by J.R. Black. Running Out of Time by Margaret Peterson Haddix. Uh, the Elements of Style by William Strunk Jr. and E.B. White. This is, I mean, I know that this is like a big, like, you gotta keep this one around, but this is really just going to my book, teacher bookshelf at the school. So it's, I say I say I'm unhauling because I don't I'm never taking it back home. Um, Attack of the Killer House by Fred E. Katz, which sucked even as far as like children's horror books goes. Uh, Drama Con number three, Lovely Seeds by R. H. Swaney, which is a poetry collection. It was fine. And Hit and Run by R.L. Stein. So those are all the books I'm getting rid of. And now I've got, uh, really it's two, more two and a half stacks of books I'm keeping. Lots of manga as has been the case lately. Uh, first up, we start off with Vagabond, volume 24 and 25. I know nothing about the series. I've never read any other volumes, but like, 
mostly it was a lot on eBay that I bid on and then accidentally won. That's how it goes. I accidentally win them. I've got one of my own books. Let me find a good place for these. Uh, that is my latest release that is Life in Anachronism by me. Uh, this is a set of uh, short stories and essays. My little sister really liked the essays in this one, so that's good. Um, I will be having a second book in Vendetic be coming out soon, so that's good. But yeah, I got this. This is this is out, paperback and Kindle. Uh, then I got my Book of the Month book for August. That is Not a Happy Family by Sherry Lapena or Lapina. Um, I'm not sure what this is about, but I have heard her name spoken a lot, the authors. Uh, so it's a thriller. Oh, the Mertens are brutally murdered. I love it. Um, so yeah, I have not been doing add-ons with Book of the Month again. I now only do add-ons if it's a book day, when it's the Book of the Month day. So that's a lot of chance, you know? Okay, then I have uh, Silent Voice, that's Silent Voice 7. Um, this is the last one. I'm keeping my Silent Voices because I think that... It's just a beautiful, beautiful series. Um, I did watch the movie recently too, that was great. Um, and like I said, I've got Noragami, I've got number eight. Um, I do want to rewatch this anime at some point and then continue on, because I know they made more than one season. I only watched the first season, but yes. All right, then I've got We Contain Multitudes by Sarah Henstra. I've actually heard a lot of really conflicting things about this one. I heard that it's like, uh, kind of weird, uh, like, some, like, not-so-great, like, problematic type things, um, which makes me want to buy and read it, always, always, it's always what happens, so I did, I bought it, and now I'm gonna read it. Uh, you've got Master of Lies by Graham Masterson. I bought this off of Thrift Books because I forget what exactly the scene was, I said, like, I said, like, eating children or something, I, it was something gross, and, like, horror lit, and somebody posted, like, r slash horlet somebody posted like what's the book where this happens i forget what it was but it's something gross and i was like i need that book and so i bought it uh then i've been trying to get my hands on the monthly girls nozaki kun mangas this is number three i'm slowly collecting them this one is in awful condition it is in the worst condition out of all of them um but it is i, I this anime is literally the funniest fucking thing that's ever existed like i love the anime so i've been trying to get this the, the books then I have Attitude Problem by Andrew Coleman, which is a uh, one of those 90s teen horror things. When did it come out? Mm, 1996. It's a year older than me. Uh, then I did, this is all at thrift store, I believe, these next couple. Um, I picked up The Road by Cormac McCarthy. I'd never read The Road. Um, I know I had to at some point, but now I do have it. So that's good. I have another couple of more Cormac McCarthy books, but The Road is his big one. So uh, Then I got The Good Girl by Mary Kubica. I've heard good things about the author. I know Books and Lala really likes her. Um, and so I saw, I do have a couple, again, I have a couple of hers too. I found a couple of them at thrift stores. Um, so I have this one. I don't know what this is about. Oh, she, oh, that's fun. She, this woman gets kidnapped. That's super fun. Uh, then, I've got Suicide Notes, Notes from Beautiful Girls by Lynn Weingarten. I, I I feel like I've heard of this one, but I don't know what it's about. Um, I just, it's a thrift store purchase. Um, then uh, another one that I've seen Books and Lala talk about, Dead to Her by Sarah Pinbro. Again, I don't know really much of what this is about. Um, again, sh this lady marries into... into life with this awful man or something like that i don't know i don't know that's just kind of what i assume with domestic thrillers at this point that's what they're all about uh then a book that i remember was popular when i think i was in high school and i kind of wanted it but i never bought it i never got my hands on it let me see am i right 2014 yeah uh, i was in high school fan art by sarah Tregay. this is about a kid who he is a he's he's gay and he falls for his best friend um so probably the synopsis of this probably inspired one more sad song, so there's that. Uh, then I found a John Saul book that I don't have that is Brain Dead, Brain Child, not Brain Dead. Um, oh, this is about a, a kid who gets in a car crash and then he gets kind of brought back to life, but he's bad now. He's just evil. It's great. Um, I don't know. I haven't read it, but I'm sure it's, it sounds cheesy and fun. Uh, then my other Mary Kubica, Don't You Cry. Again, I don't know what this is about, but I just know the author's name is supposed to be good. Then I made a book outlet order and I bought three fun young adult kind of 
creepy things. I finally picked up Wilder Girls by Rory Powers. This has been this has been pitched too many times as Lord of the Flies like to me for me to not pick it up. I love Lord of the Flies so much. Um, I'm teaching it from, to my ninth graders and right now and this year's class ninth graders is so good. And we've been having be able to have actual discussions about Lord of the Flies. It's fantastic. I love it a lot. Um, but again, this was described as like, I think it's like all female Lord of the Flies, which makes me want to read it because whenever something is compared to Lord of the Flies, I, I just love it. I also picked up The Project by Courtney Summers. This one, I, I mean, I, I have Sadie in here somewhere. I'm very interested to read Sadie. One of my coworkers at the library really recommended it. She also recommended the audiobook, but I'm probably not going to do the audiobooks. I just don't do them unless they're on cassette. But this one's culty, and that's exciting to me. And I also got There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. I heard mixed things about this, but most of the people who read this were people who were not used to cheesy teen horror. So I feel like I can get some enjoyment out of it, even though it got rated pretty low. Then a lot of manga that um, it was like a, a loot anime create mangas or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. There was a, a whole lot. It's like the first volume and a bunch of them. You've got Arpeggio of Blue Steel Volume 1, which I have never heard of. We've got a special cover of Noragami Volume 1. I might actually keep it because I really like the cover, even though I just got rid of all my Noragamis. I don't know. Um, but I do really... This is not the regular cover. I'll show you the, re the regular cover here. Um, I used out the regular cover, but I donated it to the school I work at. Then, what was really excited me about this, about this lot was Steins Gate Volume 1. Uh, this is by Yomi Sarachi. Um, I watched the anime when I was in high school. I'm currently re-watching it. I never played the game, but this was one that I really enjoyed. Um, so I I was excited. I didn't know that there was a manga because I know it's one that was like originally a game. Yeah, it's, it's exciting. Uh, then uh, Your Lion April, which I, I've heard good things about the anime for this one. So we will see where this goes. Uh, and Yowa Mushi Petal, again, Heard good things about the anime, and all these were like the first volumes. It was a, it was a good lot to get, I think. Then got another lot of bleach. I got four of them. We got number ten, nine, six, uh, eight. I don't think the, any of these are repeats. So that's good. Um, I'm eventually I will have a full collection. Um, bleach was on my uh, like. Uh, teenage anime. This is like my very first anime series that I ever watched and first manga I ever read pretty much when I was in like eighth grade and I've just been collecting them. It's out of the big three from when I was in high school, Bleach was mine. Uh, then a couple of thrift books. Got Tampa by Alyssa Nutting because for some reason I cannot stay away from those disgusting books um, where the teachers are being gross. Um, well, this is interesting because it is a female teacher targeting a male student, uh, and she's going after a 14 year old. I've heard that the, this is just like absolutely disgusting. So of course I had to read it. Then we've got The Good House by Tanana Ray Do. Something like, I'm so sorry. I think that this is a horror novel. It certainly looks like it. And on the back it says that she won a Bram Stoker. She was a she was two-time Bram Stoker finalist, which is horror. So that's good. I don't know what else is but just horror. Then this was on my little, in my little desk. And it's a it's got an ISBN, so it counts. It's, you're doing a freaking great job. There's no author. Three more. got my next uh, Monthly Girls Mizaki Kun. I've got number two, uh, which used to be in the Pierce County Library. I don't know where that is. Where's Pierce County? No idea, but this is number two. So that's great. Uh, I got Ringer by Jerry Spinelli, which was a random thrift books order. And another random thrift books order, Turncoat by Jim Butcher. Uh, then I had a pre-order, or something that was going to be a pre-order, but then I was too late to be a pre-order. Um, but that is In the Wild Light by Jeff Zentner. I read uh, The Serpent King. I have not read Goodbye Days. I own Goodbye Days. Um, this one looks interesting because it's, it's about a kid who's like living in like this small Appalachian town and he just he kind of knows he has to get out but there's a whole mess of stuff and it just looked really interesting. Um, so I picked it up. 
Then I picked up Lie by Natalia Jaster. Natalia Jaster is like one of the first self-published authors that I really got into. And then recently I re-looked into her and found out that she's published a lot of books since I stopped reading her books. I read two of her books and they're like my favorite thing in the world and then I just never thought about her again. Um, but this is the third book in the Foolish Kingdoms series. The first one I believe is Tricks, which I did read. Which I did read. The second one I believe is Dare, which I do own. And this is book three, which is Lie. If I am wrong, I don't think I'm wrong. No, I'm not wrong. Look at that. Love it. Um, so there's that. Uh, then Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter, which I have heard nothing but amazing things about. Uh, the Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith, which is a random thrift book sorter. I, I really wanted to read this book when I was in high school for some god awful reason and I never got to but now I have it so now I can um another get control journal Zaki, a monthly girls in Zaki -kun, number five uh, I got deranged by Harold Schechter um so this is about Albert Fish Schechter is a one of the kind of primary um true crime authors and he's been around for a while and he's written a lot of books that a lot of people really like um then I got a bunch of Emma Mills books I got first and then famous in a small town Foolish Hearts, and then This Adventure Ends, which I did read a couple years ago, um, but I want to read it again, and I don't have it. Uh, then I got a lot of um, horror novels off of eBay. I got uh, Blood Mist by Robert James, Ghosts by Noel Hind, Sleepwalk by John Saul, which I know I definitely have. I know, I know, I know. Uh, Dominion by Fred Saberhagen. Amazing. Uh, Vampire Hunter by Michael Romke. Uh, one that I was really, really excited about, which is another Layman book, um, Endless Night by Richard Layman. I've been, you know, trying to, I mean, I read one of his books now, and I've been, I've been collecting, I've been collecting, and uh, Voice of Blood by Jeremiah Jefferson. I've just got the half stack left now, Oops. which is a couple more thrift books. First up, we got a book outlet order. I got It Devours by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner. I still have not, I still have yet to read a Night Vale book, but I have been picking them up anyway. It's beautiful though too, isn't it? It is, it is, it is. Uh, also with that order, I got Paranoid Park by Blake Nelson. Kid Kills a Guy with a Skateboard is all I know. Uh, Langoliers by Stephen King. I just love this edition and I love the Langoliers. I've read it, yes. Uh, another Emma Mills book, Lucky Caller. This is, I think, her most recent. Um, I have not read it. Like, the only one that I read was um, uh, the uh, This Adventure Ends. And then, uh, as I had read that one Stephen Graham Jones book, and I was very excited by it, I picked up Mongrels by Stephen Graham Jones. Because I, now I'm just trying to get his backlist because he's amazing. Um, I don't know what this is about. I just know it's by Stephen Graham Jones. Uh, then this one I'm not gonna be able to read, but I wanted it so bad, and so I can still look at the pictures because this is my favorite character from Super Danganronpa 2, and there is a Kazuichi Soda manga, so I bought it off of eBay from some guy or some lady in Japan, and now I have it, and it's beautiful. I this is my favorite character in that game, and there's a whole manga just for him, and they it's so cute because they always have whenever. We see him waking up, he's, he puts on his little glasses. Where's part of it? Where is he? I, it's, it's so hard because I like, you know, can't read Japanese. So I'm just like flipping and trying to use context clues. Oh, I know I saw it a couple of times. Oh, there's him running away crying, which is not, you know, super unusual. But... Yeah, there you be. Okay. And finally, I did finally find Trigger Happy Havoc Volume 3. I bought it off of eBay because you cannot get this bitch anywhere. It's not quite as bad as Corpse Party 4, although I am currently bidding on a copy of Corpse Party 4, and my max is $52, which sounds like a lot, and it is a lot, but I just want it so fucking badly. Uh, but yeah, that is my... Uh, book haul slash unhaul. There's a lot of your day. I'll talk to you later and goodbye.